Pharmacy techs are absolutely critical for a hospital to run. We're kind of like the elves. You don't see us, but it's, everything that we do is extremely important. You couldn't have your surgery, really, without the doses being prepared. You couldn't, you know, keep people in the ICU there. We're preparing all of their medications. Um, so I think we're really, really fundamental to a hospital. And we work with doctors and nurses and pharmacists every day. My name is Emma, and this is my life as a pharmacy technician. I wanted to be a veterinarian, <laughs> but I, always, I think I was always interested in medicine in some, some way. So I wanted to do something in, with veterinarian school, but um, it's, you know, it's a long track to get there. So I started taking classes, and while I was taking classes, someone mentioned, hey, you can become a pharmacy tech without, you know, you don't have to have this a long schooling for that. So I looked into it and, um, I bought a book and started studying it, and then I took the certification test. There's a national certification, that's through the Pharmacy Technician Certification Board, and that is the test that you take. Once you pass that exam, you get a state license. So there's no school um, that's required, it's just a um, examination. So a lot of people go to the program just because it covers all the you know things that might be on the exam and it helps build a foundation for your career but it's not 100 percent necessary that you do that originally it was kind of a little bit challenging to get hired because i didn't have any experience and i didn't even go to a school so i basically um you know just uh kept interviewing and finally got a position at cvs pharmacy i worked there for a little over a year and got experience so that i could move on to um, a better job and I just kind of kept moving up as much as I could. Every job I would gain experience and reapply somewhere else and um, finally I got uh, into a hospital job and once you have hospital experience it's easier to get more hospital experience so I that's how I got to Texas Children's was working my way up through retail and then um, at another hospital and then um, with that experience it gave me the opportunity to get hired here. It took about five years from um, getting certified and working at several different places um, and working up till I was finally hired at a hospital because um, the hospital jobs are more competitive to get into. So you really want to work hard and, um, and, and when you have an opportunity to get into a hospital setting, then take it because um, this is a really great environment to work in. My day can be really different from week to week. Um, we rotate through positions here uh, in my department, so we have um, about 11 different positions that we rotate through. So some of the things we do, um, we work in a clean room. So that's a room where you have to put on garb, which is like a, you know, you're gonna cover your hair and your mouth and your shoes, and you're gonna wear a lab coat. And when you go in there, there's it's sterile. That way we can, pre you know, prepare medications for patients and not contaminate them with any kind of, you know, viruses or bacteria that we might inadvertently carry in. Some days I could be in the pharmacy where we produce the uh, doses for the, the OR. The doses for the OR can be more uh, time sensitive because, you know, they need them now. We also make doses for the dialysis clinic and for the bone marrow uh, transplant clinics. We also do compounding, which is really fun. I think it's, um, since we're a children's hospital, we have to produce a lot of doses of things that are um, less concentrated than what you would give to an adult. So, and a lot of children can't swallow pills. So a lot of what we do is make liquid medication out of existing tablets. So we get to have a mortar and a pestle and we crush it up. We deliver discharge medications to the patient's room so that they don't have to worry about going to a pharmacy after they leave here. The pharmacy that I work in is definitely a team effort. It's a huge team, so every day you're working with different people, which is really nice. So when I started here, I wasn't IV certified, so I learned all of that on the job, uh, how to draw up doses and reconstitute medications and do all of that in a sterile environment to prevent contamination. So I've, I learned a lot since I've been here. I really like working with technology and Texas Children's is like a leader in technology in hospitals. So that part of my job is really exciting is to be on the forefront of changing healthcare and innovating. I'm still in school right now. Texas Children's pays 2,500 
a year for me to go to school, so that's great. And I'm uh, almost finished taking all of my classes needed to apply to nursing school. So my next step is um, getting my bachelor's in nursing and I hope to stay here with the hospital and transition into nursing. What's great about the hospital is that their setting is that there's so many different start times that are available. So if you need to work evening or night or day, you can work any of that. Texas Children's has given me a lot of resources to live my life the way that I want. They pay for me to go to school, so I'm able to do that. They, I, I get lots of vacation time, so I'm able to spend time with my children um, away from work. And about a year after I started working here, my husband and I were able to purchase our first home. So definitely working here has been a huge benefit. My advice would be that I you don't need to know what you're gonna be for the rest of your life when you're 18 years old or 17 or 18 graduating high school. And that there's things like being a pharmacy tech where you can be in the field and gaining experience and, and you get a chance to watch other people do their jobs and you get to experience other careers which can help narrow down eventually what you wanna do. And then also, you know, there's no, uh, it, it's good to work while you're going to school because um, you don't have to graduate with a lot of student loan debt you know, that's my advice. <laughs> what are you up for?